Hey guys and girls, Emma again, welcome back to Spare Room. This is the video that I show you my amazing camera wire. And as soon as it's printed and bolted on the machine, we're ready to go. So hang tight and we'll get to it in a minute. There we go. Well, we got nearly seven hours later, and we've got a junction box. It needs the support cutting out, but it's a nice looking print. I really like this filament, but they come from Audi when they had it and I should have got a lot more of it because it's a nice filament anyway this is a video about this project which is, this is about the last major component I'm using it right now it's my ultimate camera gantry so let's have a bit of a look at it So where do we start? Right at the beginning. I messed around for three years nearly with a tripod uh, and I had a pretty good tripod. I found a surveyor's tripod and put an arm on it so it was back out of the way. Not really the answer because every time you walk past you bump it. Um, it's very difficult to get in close. It's in your way all the time. I couldn't, I mean for instance, I couldn't sit at the bench like this and and do something. I couldn't stand at the lathe to do something. We all know that. Anyone who, who makes videos for YouTube knows that this is a problem and how do you fix it? So I bought a roll of a roll of 8020 rail which is a robotics rail and I bolted it up on the the top frame on my new workbench just above head height so I've got 3.3 .3 meters along one end one side of, of, of rail and we'll have a look at that in a minute next thing I did was my 3D printer landed and I wanted a project that will really teach me how to use it and what it can do and what it can't do and how to make it work and the rail stayed up for a little while and because it was in the way on the floor and eventually I on the last metal spinning video I spat the dummy and decided I wasn't going to do another machining or a workshop video without doing something about this rail so we got in and did it of course in all this time the ideas got more and more complicated and the the design got more complicated and hopefully it's got a little bit better p polished than, than it was when it started and I ended up with a light on it it's just 12 volt which is amazing and a few other refinements too and we'll have a look at that first thing I did was printed these wheels and they're okay but they're a bit noisy So I printed another lot which are in the machine now and they've got O-rings on them but there were some problems with that and I, I printed a third lot which is getting complicated which is this one don't ask about the gear yet um, this is not going to be a project that's going to be finished anytime soon there's lots and lots to do with it and add-ons and things and this third set of gears I hope is the last one so we messed around and I, I drew and, and printed a, a about a, a 0.65 module gear on that one and we'll see what happens with that printed some drag chain 
and Marcus Wilson in Western Australia had the files for this and it's a, it's a nice drag chain it's really it's pretty smart little thing and it's probably better than the one I've got to be honest it's quite quite nice but I needed about I thought to start with about three meters and this was going to take me seven links at a time on my little printer. It was going to take me about six months to do it. So I went and bought some out of China and we'll have a look at that too. Some parts need to be made three or four times. This for instance, I made these and if you have a look inside there, there's a, a hexagon there for a, a Whitworth nut and that's a nice push fit in there. And this screws up on the it pushes in aluminium tube for the the camera support and I had to print three of them before I got one that actually fits in the tube they're all fractionally different sizes so it's been trial and error but perfect yet and hopefully the new ones fix this problem because that's a bit jerky and I don't like that So I apologise for the handheld here, but that's probably the best way. That little junction box that we printed, it hasn't been bolted on yet, but that's it there. And that goes over the wires. I'm going to take this apart and I've still got one wheel to print and we're going to put the new wheels on it and try that too, but I thought I'd get a video out first. This bracket is printed as is the ends for this tube, that piece press fits in there and it's got a washer to stop the wobble but it doesn't really work yet and this little ball head, the ProMaster which is a camera house brand really isn't up to the job so I'm going to, in, I'm going to probably invest in a decent one I've got a Banggood lamp that I've I've bolted on there and it's nice and solid and, and rigid just for a bit of fun we printed a nameplate, it's some safe working load, one and a half kilograms and spare room machine shop builder's plate and of course this end of the tube here has a just a stopper in it stop the spiders the drag chain fits up on here just bolted up there on a, on a printed bracket and because this chain will hang down what I've done is made some little aluminium brackets to go on there with a, a piece to stop the chain jumping off just along the back so that's all that is and there's the rail set up there we've just got some spaces which were like that with bolts and there's another bracket there to hold that end of the drag chain this wire here is just hooked up to a battery charger at the moment and of course this light works which is fantastic but at this point I've just got a battery charger on it because I haven't yet got a power supply I've hooked a wire in here and left a wire here and hopefully this week a little USB power so USB power supply will arrive and I'll bolt that in there and then we can recharge our camera from from the actual gantry which is fantastic it also means that we've got a power supply and whether we're going to sort out an Arduino and, a, and an LCD screen on this to to do panning shots and things like that we'll see how smooth we can get the wheels going but that's sort of the plan now let's have a look inside it so anyway, I split the drag chain here like that and pulled the cable out and we just pull this lever down, we can just slip him off 
and have a look inside. I've changed the wheels over, these two. These are the new wheels. That one with the drive gear on it. And this one. They run a lot smoother. This one still needs to be done. This one may have got too hot when I was polishing it in the lathe. I don't think that's entirely necessary and this is certainly runs a lot smoother now. We've got the cable gullies here everywhere so that none of this gets tangled up. And these are all on 608 bearings. We have a look. There's a little bit wear pad on the on the bottom that's inserted in the back of the bolt um, because the pressure's actually on this this arm that way so that just takes some of the rock out of it and it doesn't move very much so that's what we've done there so the new wheels just starting to print we're seven percent. We're about fifteen minutes in. Hopefully tonight I'll have that done. And we can get back to more important things. I'm pretty pleased with this. I'm less pleased with this at the moment, but that's fixable. This flange was supposed to sit down on the on the actual metal part of the arm to hold it in place but there's a design problem there I think I just didn't quite get that worked out so we might have to do a bit of a job on that print another one so far to, to mount the camera I've just got this this pipe clamp and a bit of a bracket this is going to need some work and as we go it's going to get better it's pretty crappy here at the moment but it sort of works Anyway, I thought I'd shoot a video and just, while everything's nice and clean and tidy, sort of, and you can see where we're at. Hopefully this will be functional and I'm ready to go and I might do some metal spinning again. I certainly will. I dug around and found a little faceplate for some formers and that's all working too so it might be time to do some more and upload this and say thanks for watching and be kind to each other don't forget to like and subscribe all that sort of stuff and leave a comment if anyone's got any feedback or ideas let me know and I might get in and print another one of these and the other wheel and pull it apart again and screw this junction box down. All that sort of stuff. And make the most of this weekend.